guys, Joe Bags here for my very first vlog of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 5. Yeah, I didn't think it would happen this early, but uh, apparently Hasbro wanted to, you know, kind of get their product out for testing to see what it was like. I got a link to it in my email. And I've seen the season 5 premiere, and I have to say, oh my goodness, I mean, I can see why they delayed the show, the, the whole season 5 thing for so long, because I hardly recognize it as My Little Pony anymore. I mean, oh my goodness, they're just so... So many frackin' changes to the whole thing! But, uh, okay. I'll just calm down and tell you what, what amongst the many things has happened to the show. Like, I, I don't know how this segues. I mean, for starters, humans are the dominant race now. And at first sight, I'm thinking, oh, that, that, that maybe there was like a war or something. Like, the, the human world is somehow sucked up Equestria and everyone became humans, which would explain all these really weird animal hybrids. Like, th there are now flying buffaloes and penguins with six wings. It, 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 it's just insane! to what to what has happened, but none of the characters from the original show are here. Not not even Celestia, Discord, or Luna, you know, characters that are sort of kind of immortal, but oh my goodness. And and also the magic has apparently caught on to humans, but it's only specialized in uh, some specific elements. Uh, to be specific, earth, water, fire, and air. And uh, apparently there was this huge war between all of these people now divided by the type of elements they can control, which the magic is now called element bending. And apparently there were, there's supposed to be this great master of all elements, this mega bender, if you will, and uh, the, this mega bender, also known as an a aviator, um, that that's a it's a complicated name, but the, the, the show's had a fair share of complicated names, but. The Aviatar, which I'm assuming is a descendant of Twilight Sparkle, was supposed to save everyone from when one of the nations revolts. And it turns out the Fire Nation revolted and basically took over. But uh, an air-controlling Aviatar um, ba basically disappeared. And so this first episode takes place in an ice cap, and immediately we're introduced to some brand new characters. They are um, Gatara, who can manipulate and control water, though it, it, she's pretty much the only one of her kind who can, and her brother, Saki. I feel sorry for the guy, named after a, a spirit, so it, it could be assumed that he's the town drunk, even though he clearly isn't, but, but you know... Uh, so we get get this brother and sister paddling down an ice flow, and they they stumble across a giant iceberg, which has inside a really really huge white flying buffalo. And uh, this is a buffalo in the human world, so you know it, it doesn't talk. It just makes really weird sounds, like you know that 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 kind of thing. But uh, in, inside this, there, there's also a little boy named Hang. And Hang is basically the... He was inside this ice block for over a hundred years. And immediately, um, uh, Sake and Gitara start trying to figure out more about Hang. And as it turns out, he is in reality... 
um, the Aviator, and he, after he is revealed, um, the Fire Nation figures it, it out, and their prince, whose name is uh, Luno, um, is going around, decides to go after them, and uh, so Sake and Gatara try to hide pr and protect Hang and his giant flying buffalo named Opa. Um, probably got that name for breaking a whole bunch of plates and insulting Greeks. But uh, so, but eventually Hang gives himself in um, and he's taken on board away with these uh, fire fire magic users. And so, um, Sake and Gatara decide to go after them and try to rescue Hang and use Opa as means of transport. Uh, they eventually do, but, um, it's, and they just take off to learn how they can learn more about Hang and help Gatara with her, um, water-bending magic stuff. And Luno is, um, he's just really anxious to go after, um, the aviator, and his uncle's trying to convince him to relax, and, you know, he's kind of that really wise old uncle who is, uh, rather mysterious, but also has a great sense of wit. I, I really love those characters, but, so yeah, a lot has changed. I mean, the animation style is now more like a Japanese anime cartoon, and and oh, there's it, just so much, and 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 they don't at all reference what has happened in the past. Like, I, I can assume that there was this big apocalypse where the all the technology was destroyed, and all remnants of Equestria are gone. But, jeez! <laughs> it, it's different, and completely out of nowhere, and feels like it wants to have absolutely nothing to do with My Little Pony, as if it didn't even exist yet. And it... It, it even has a different sponsor. Uh, My Little Pony has Hub and Discovery Family. This one was distributed by Nickelodeon, of all companies. But, um, you know, a, a lot of major changes happened in the show that a lot of bronies, you know, have a huge freak out about. And, you know... This is like beyond jumping the shark level of changes, but I'm always open to changes in the show. I'm always open to breaking the mold and notions of what should or shouldn't be in My Little Pony. And so, looking at this, a boy in ice, looking at it for what it's worth, it's pretty dang good. I mean... It doesn't connect with My Little Pony in any way, even though it should. But the story was good. The animation was absolutely top-notch, even though it was a different style. I really liked these characters. And, you know, if this is going to be like a spin-off series, I'd be more than open to, you know, accepting it. And, you know, maybe it is. This could... This spin-off series could eventually lead to something really big, like maybe another spin-off series, or a really stupid live-action movie trying to condense everything into a small, small portion of what is going on, but who knows? Maybe this uh, new My Little Pony... <laughs> I'm not even sure they could call it My Little Pony, because... There is no dragons, no ponies yet, but, you know, it, it, it could go somewhere. It it definitely has potential. It's building up a world a little bit at a time. It's growing these characters a little at a time, so 
who knows? Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on the My Little Pony Season 5 premiere, uh, Boy in Ice, N a different title, everything in this, this is different, but in a good way. Like, we'll see. Maybe it'll eventually explain why this, these don't really connect. So, this is Joe Bag saying, see you next time.